The most effective way of treating the multifidus triggers is, is with needling. So remember my disclaimer. Now, to, there is a little danger zone which I, you need to be aware of. In between the dorsal spines, there is a little space like that. And that space is a window. It's, this, it's the window that when people do an epidural, when a, an anesthetist does an epidural injection, they go through that space into the, into the area just, over the, just outside the spinal cord. So you can, if you get your, put your needle in, 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 into this area, you can go straight into the spinal cord. It's difficult, you know, when you try and get in. Uh, uh, as an anaesthetist, when you do epidural injections, it can be really difficult to get in there. And people have to roll up into a ball to open it up so that the space becomes available. But if you're using needles in the spine, you need to know that the space between the dorsal spines is taboo for you. And therefore, to be safe, what you do is you feel the dorsal spine and you go one finger breadth lateral to the dorsal spine. You feel the dorsal spine, you go one finger breadth lateral to the dorsal spine. That will take you make it impossible for you to put your needle into this little space. And so if you're a finger to the side of it, these are the equivalent of in, in, in traditional Chinese acupuncture, which are called the Jiachi points. And they are just a finger breadth lateral to the dorsal spine, each one sitting just below where the dorsal spine is, which happens to be just where your multifidus muscle runs. So a lot of acupuncture points are treating trigger points and the Giachi points are in fact precisely treating multifidy. So I have found my trigger point by using the, the technique we spoke about. I come a finger breath to the side put my introducer and I angle ever so slightly away from the midline again just to give me a little bit of safety I tap the needle and as I go down I'm going through layers he's going to tell me so I primed him to say you will tell me when you when you feel the point when you feel a pain or a little electric shock I'm feeling for needle grasp which is a little bit of firmness as I move through the muscle layers and the moment he says ouch or I may feel I've got my fingers here and I may feel the needle jump the the muscle twitch underneath my hands the moment I'm there I stop now if it, if you are treating a multifidus, as you go down, the multifidus is sitting just above the bone. So it may well be that as you strike bone, at that point, he says, ouch. And what you have is you've just entered the little multifidus as it runs across the articular pillars of the vertebra, which are the bony parts of the vertebra. Once it's there, you leave it. Make it a little twist and you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then you can treat as many as need treating. I've talked here about treating the lumbar spine and you can do the same in the neck, the multifidy in the neck. And this is very safe, very safe. But when you come into the thoracic spine, you have one other really important structure and that is your lungs.
So this area you have the lungs and the question is how can you be sure when you do a do deep needling in this area how can you be sure that you are not going to actually go into the lung and this is difficult this is really really important because so um, my advice I mean I, I can give you some guidelines here but my advice is that you shouldn't do deep needling in this area here I think you need a, a fair amount of experience and uh, but as guidelines here is here are the dorsal spines here is the erector spiny muscles here are the ribs coming around so if I draw the rib here's here's a rib coming like this and the rib you'll feel that the the rib comes to an end just about here the transverse process of each vertebra is there which is the the rib the costo vertebral joint the lateral part of it which is the costo transverse joint this occurs at the at the edge of the erector spiny muscles Anything beyond the erector spiny muscles, you can't do deep needling because you're going to you're going to hit if you miss the rib, you're going to go into the lung. Anything on this side is safe, except for the little spaces in the middle between the dorsal spines of the vertebra the ones there which is access to the spinal cord so it is a tricky area and uh, the use of needles I mean you can stay superficial in this area you're not going to get down to the multifidy but you'll be safe in other words if you just feel as long as you're staying if the if you feel the erector spiny muscles come to an end here they are erector spiny muscles if you feel they come to an end as long as you're staying in this area here between the dorsal spine and the edge of the erector spiny muscle and you needle in this area you will tend to be quite safe but beware beware if you do puncture a lung it's not the end of the world but what will happen is the person who's, who, who, whose lung you punctured will say oh gosh that feels it almost feels like a little sharp pain as they breathe and then they will become over the next number of hours may become a little bit more short of breath because the lung itself will collapse down because it's a tiny needle in almost a hundred percent of time of, 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 of times the lung will collapse down less than 10 percent will heal itself and will gradually reabsorb on its own over a week to 10 days but it's I mean you're doing this to treat somebody <laughs> not to cause them extra anxiety and yourself extra anxiety so this is an area beware